And welcome to another segment of Haven of Worship's Vertical Connection. Still gearing up towards women empowerment, my topic for today is entitled, Becoming a Proverbs 31 Woman. What's all the hype about becoming a Proverbs 31 woman? How do you become a virtuous woman? Becoming a Proverbs 31 woman has very little to do with the life you choose and everything to do with the heart attitude with which you make that choice. What is becoming a Proverbs 31 woman today all about? It's important to realize that becoming a Proverbs 31 woman isn't the lie that has been sold for so long that you need to strive to be excellent at all things homemaking. The truth is that it's about embracing God's grace, bearing God's image, and fulfilling God's call on your life. The Proverbs 31 woman shines Jesus brightly. Becoming a Proverbs 31 woman is not a matter of checking off a list of accomplishments to attain the perfection of the virtuous woman in the Bible. Rather, it is studying the virtues described and living a life where they are evident. The real Proverbs woman is one of virtue and character. It's not at all about doing, and it's everything about become. And this becoming is through God's grace, not exhausting yourself through striving. Proverbs 31.10 says, An excellent wife who can find? She is far more precious than jewels. The immense value placed on a virtuous woman is unmistakable. Those who read the Bible and take away that women are, aren't appreciated have clearly missed this verse. The Proverbs woman was treasured. As we go on the Proverbs 31, we will find the characteristics of the Proverbs 31 woman. Number one, the Proverbs 31 woman is trustworthy. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. That is from Proverbs 31, 11. Second, the Proverbs 31 woman is a blessing to her husband. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. That is from Proverbs 31, verse 12 and 23. Third, the Proverbs 31 woman is an eager worker. She works with willing hands. That is from Proverbs 31, 13. The Proverbs 31 woman is resourceful. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. Proverbs 31, 14. Fifth, the Proverbs 31 woman is motivated. She rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and portions for her maidens. That is from Proverbs 31, verse 15. Number six, the Proverbs 31 woman is a good steward. She considers a field and buys it. With the, with the fruit of her hands, she plants a vineyard. That is from Proverbs 31, verse 16. Number seven, the Proverbs 31 woman is industrious. She dresses herself with strength 
and makes her arms strong. She perceives that her merchandise is profitable. Her lamp does not go out at night. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. That is from Proverbs 31 verse 17 to 18 and 27. Number 8, the Proverbs 31 woman is generous. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. That is from Proverbs 31 verse 20. Number 9, the Proverbs 31 woman is well prepared. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. Proverbs 31, verse 21 and 25. Number 10, the Proverbs 31 woman is business savvy. She makes linen garments and sells them. She delivers sashes to the merchant. That is from Proverbs 31, verse 24. Number 11, the Proverbs 31 woman is strong and dignified. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. That is from Proverbs 31 verse 25. Number 12, the Proverbs 31 woman watches her words. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and, she, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. That is from Proverbs 31 verse 26. So why be a Proverbs 31 woman? That you can find from Proverbs 31 verse 28 to 31. And it says, Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the gates. So don't feel overwhelmed when you read all about how to be a Proverbs 31 woman. After all, Becoming a Proverbs 31 woman is a journey. As you grow in the Lord, you will become more and more of an image bearer for Him. Don't let this passage make you feel inadequate, but rather recognize the principles set forth in it and know that there is grace from God to help you lift them. Becoming a Proverbs 31 woman is about knowing God more and living in His grace. Isn't it a relief to know that being a virtuous woman isn't about trying to be someone you're not and instead about loving Jesus with your whole heart and life? Let us pray. Eternal God, you are the foundation that enables everything we build to stand. You have given gifts to every woman here to bless and serve each other. You provide all your daughters with gifts to carry out the mission you have designed for us. Speak clearly to us so that we may discern your direction for our lives. Remind us that everything we need is found in you. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And that's it for today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe all to our Facebook and YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of our latest videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.